The man who fired the shots that killed Osama bin Laden is in Tampa today. Rob O'Neill was first met with controversy when he revealed that he was the man who fired those shots that killed the world's most wanted man. News Channel East Jeff Patterson spoke with him a little bit about that today because he's here in Tampa. Yeah, just an amazing man, really. Rob O'Neill was a member of SEAL Team 6. He was part of the rescue operation for captured Richard Phillips from the Marist, Alabama. He helped rescue lone survivor Marcus Luttrell. O'Neill's life is literally the stuff of movies. At my direction, the United States launched a targeted operation against that compound. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden. Many of us remember exactly where we were when we heard President Obama utter those words. Rob O'Neill and other members of SEAL Team 6 had just left Osama bin Laden's compound. It never occurred to me that uh, I would be the one that got the shots at him. O'Neill has written about his 17 years as a Navy SEAL in the book, The Operator. The bin Laden mission's in it. It's not about the bin Laden mission. That was just part of it. I think it's the mid-chapters 20 in there. It's a book about a guy from Butte, Montana, who didn't know how to swim, joined the Navy kind of on accident. The book is somewhat controversial because O'Neill revealed he fired the shots that killed bin Laden. And some people believe a special forces operator should never break a code of silence about their work. A lot of the communities down here in Tampa, and they know damn well that uh, as soon as they found out, hey, we got him, the first question every, every other operator asked was, well, who shot him? O'Neill now travels the country as an inspirational speaker. And when you read the book, you can tell why. It's a book about it doesn't matter where you're from or what you look like. As long as you keep a positive attitude, never quit. You can do anything you want. He's here in Tampa campaigning for Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister. It's funny, once people recognize him, they stop what they're doing. O'Neill told me he's happy to be here for Cronister. I've got a great history with the law enforcement, and uh, he seems like a guy I really want to support down here in Tampa. O'Neill has clearly been a part of some amazing things, but one of the most amazing moments to me is that in the seconds after bin Laden was killed, SEAL Team 6 had the presence of mind to retrieve every hard drive and every flash drive from that compound, giving American intelligence a huge volume of material to go after other terrorists around the world. Fascinating. Incredible. Have you, have you had, had a moment to go through some of the other stories in that book? Because I bet it's just chock full of Yeah, I mean, Marist, Alabama, we have two crew members yeah. from that ship here in mm -hmm. this Bay Area. Bay Area. And so, uh, really, a lot of people touched by his life. All right. All right. Thank you, Joe. Thank you.